30 uh, seconds. Gramagut, uh, Les Concorda. Uh, Tanish, the start-up grant was welcome uh, earlier on this year, um, but there was a five million sort of th that if you had a turnover of five million, you wouldn't be able to apply. I do realise that when you um, took it over, you brought it to 25 million. But earlier on, the small marts in the, or the marts in this country, a lot of them, you'd be only selling 100 cattle a week, you'd be going over the five million. Then they opened. And some of them weren't aware that after bringing it up to the 25 million, once they were open, that they could apply for funding. Now, what we have to realise is that some of those marts have um, put a fair amount of infrastructure you, in on the online. And I'm asking you, would you relook at this Thank again, you. please? Thank you, Deputy. Tarnished. Uh, I just want to um, thank the Deputy for uh, his recent submission to me on this matter. Um, Deputy Smaris highlights some clear challenges which have now emerged relating to the imposition of Level 5 COVID restrictions, including the prohibition on buyers from accessing sales rings at livestock marts. My colleague, the Minister of Agriculture, Mr McConnell Oak, and his department continue to work closely with stakeholders to protect agri-food supply chains despite the stricter controls in place. Nevertheless, the core responsibility of government is to protect lives and public health while also supporting the broader requirements of the economy and society. Regretfully, we're in level five COVID-19 restrictions and it's not possible to make exemptions for any section of the economy affected by them. Now, this position has been reiterated by Minister McConnell Logan, Minister's questions just last week and also by the Taoiseach. In relation to the operation of online marts, I understand the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine officials have been in contact with system providers and have assured uh, that all necessary steps are being taken to avoid a repeat of the recent broadband connectivity issues experienced. They're monitoring the situation closely to ensure smooth operation of future sales. I understand the value of adequate broadband throughout the country, and it's vital to the future of, the, of, of, of work and flexible remote working. Work on the national broadband plan continues as quickly as possible. The deputy raised the issue of broadband with me last week in leaders' questions in the Dáil, and specifically the issue of standoffs in relation to polls. Um, I mentioned this to Minister Ryan, uh, but the deputy may wish to raise it with him directly. Uh, there is no specific programme that's available to grant aid livestock marts to update equipment, but I am happy to discuss any proposals the deputy may have. I understand that marts have availed of the Restart Grant Plus scheme, uh, for which the turnover cap was 25 million, uh, increased from 5 million in the previous scheme, as the deputy acknowledged. Um, Tarnished, uh, I welcome your reply. Um, the reason I am talking or to your department is that marts, as well as being agriculture, uh, basically, they employ people, they're enterprising their trade. Um, they're very important, especially in the rural areas. And I think with the outlay they had this year, a lot of them, um, all I would ask you is to relook at having an, an, some incentive or some type of funding that they may be able, after their, a lot of outlay this year, um, that they may be able to access through your department. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, Deputy. Certainly, you know, happy to uh, examine any proposals uh, in that regard. It's probably more something for the Department of Agriculture than for my department, but I'm always open to uh, open to suggestions. It can be difficult to have a scheme that's for a particular uh, business or a particular enterprise, um, and then not uh, face um, requests to do the same for uh, other other businesses as well. But um, I certainly would be happy to hear more uh, from the deputy about it in the future. It's Mars. Tanishta, um, I acknowledge that you have uh, talked about the submission that has been given um, and in fairness to your uh, officials, they spoke to me in relation to this. I do think though that um, in the coming weeks there should be an opportunity that the, say the, the flaws or the problems that was in places, um, if it's shown to both NEPIT and the different departments, that um, we need to concentrate on this um, in the line of farmers being in you know, a certain amount of them being able to safely work within the market. That's our job to prove uh, to the people that we need to prove it to. But I would ask you to be open-minded when we look for it again. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Deputy. I, I, am, I am very sympathetic to the cases being made to allow marts to reopen with restrictions. Um, I remember in the first phase of the pandemic, we did exactly that at a certain point, uh, and it worked reasonably well. And I know, obviously, buying and selling livestock online is not the same. Um, you know, it would be the same if, say, you're trying to buy anything, you know, looking, particularly a live animal, it's just not the same. And I have heard, uh, you know, situations where uh, farmers have been trying to, um, uh, 
sort of join the mart online and have suffered from bad broadband, or even cases where uh, sort of farmers have got together around a laptop and we're probably end, end up closer to each other uh, than they would have been had they been at the mart. So we need to be practical about these things too. So, uh, you, you know, um, at the same time, though, one thing government is very clear about is that if we start to unravel the restrictions now, they will unravel. And we really want to get another few weeks of level five as it is to get those numbers down to a very low level uh, before we can consider easing any restrictions. I will point out finally that Marts, like all businesses, can uh, avail of the employment wage subsidy scheme to help pay the staff um, low cost loans uh, and also the new uh, Chris support scheme, a weekly grant uh, that they get while they're closed.